Welcome back to 3 News on this Sunday evening. Well, winds out there are the big story this afternoon out of the southeast at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. We're seeing gusts upwards of about 30 miles an hour right now in Corpus Christi and Orange Grove. 32 mile an hour wind gusts right now at the Naval Air Station. So that is contributing to that ripped current risk along the coast that we were talking about just a few minutes ago. Remember, swim parallel and uh, be careful out there if you're near the waters this afternoon and this evening. See Old Glory flying proudly in the breeze out there. It is windy. And that's the saving grace because it is so hot. 91 degrees right now with a south southeast wind sustained at 16 miles an hour, gusting to 30, 77 on the dew point, feeling like 104 out there. So current temperatures, it is 91 right now in Beeville, 89 in Ingleside, 90 in Mathis, 93 out in Robstown, 94 in Hebronville. Factor in the humidity, feels like 107 in Robstown, 112. The big winter right now in Beeville, 104 here in Corpus Christi, 105 out at Port Aransas. Heat advisory continues here across the coastal bend for about another hour and a half. This lasts until 7 p.m. Uh, it is likely to be uh, extended or issued once again for your Monday, Monday afternoon, Monday evening, and probably Tuesday and possibly Wednesday as well as we continue with this uh, mainly sunny, hot and humid stretch of weather across South Texas. Winds over the next several hours, they're going to back off this evening. So wind gusts about 30 miles an hour right now. They'll be about 15 miles an hour out of the southeast by about the uh, time we get towards about midnight. They'll uh, back off even more during the overnight period and then pick up once again Monday afternoon and Monday evening. Satellite and radar, lots of sunshine out there. A few little popcorn showers off towards the Houston area and in southern Louisiana. That's the closest activity we see across the coastal bend. Otherwise, we're quiet. Just a few clouds here and there. That continues this evening. Mainly clear skies. Temperatures in the low 80s by about 11 p.m. Overnight tonight, overnight lows, upper 70s, low 80s. A few clouds pushing through in the morning and then another day tomorrow of mainly sunny skies with just a few puffy cumulus clouds moving through the coastal bend. Heat index values tomorrow once again 105 to 110 as high as about 113 in Beeville. So that's why I think we'll have another heat advisory issue tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening and heat index values stay in the dangerous category through at least Tuesday and Wednesday before bringing a little bit more cloud cover towards the middle part of the week that may cool us down just a few degrees, but otherwise a hot and humid stretch of weather across the coastal bend. Tracking the tropics, we're down to two tropical waves. We had three. The National Hurricane Center let the last one out here completely go. It uh, dismantled itself over the past several hours, but we're still watching two tropical waves. One here has a medium chance of development, 40 to 50 percent over the next two to five days. The back one has a 30 to 40 percent chance of development. All of these uh, waves continue to push on off to the east towards the Caribbean. This one is expected to go off to the north and possibly impact Florida. We'll watch that carefully and then the back one here still has a ways to go. So we'll keep an eye on both of them. Latest information tropical wise KTRIPLITV.com. Next up of several hours, a few clouds here and there. That's about it. Mainly clear overnight temperatures in the low 80s tomorrow afternoon. Back in the mid 90s heat index values 105 to 110 as high as about 113 breezy, hot, and humid, and that continues through the next several days. So at least Wednesday before we bring in a little bit more clouds and temperatures back off just a little bit towards next weekend. Brian.